Tom Hiddleston's Loki has done an amazing job of proving just what kind of god he is, the god of mischief. Today I'm going to cover 10 times Loki proved why he's the god of mischief. Welcome back to Finale, let's get into the video. Number 10, making Loki believe he's delivering Odin to him. Loki, the biological father of Loki, had been embroiled in a war with Odin for thousands of years, only to fall into a trap by Loki and die at his hands. Loki achieved this by making Lofi believe he was cutting a deal for Odin's life and giving Lofi access to Odin's chambers to kill him. However, he then used gun gear to attack Lofi himself, who was powerless to this deception and ultimately blasted to smithereens by the son he once abandoned. Number 9, Influencing Thor to Attack the Frost Giants Loki threw all the Asgardian succession into turmoil by influencing Thor to attack Jotunheim. He made Thor believe he was on his brother's side in his plan to attack the Frost Giants, motivating him to go through with the plan, eventually breaking the situation into war between Jotunheim and Asgard. Loki's act cost Thor his place as the heir apparent to the throne of Asgard, along with breaking Odin and Frigga's spirit that he took advantage of to usurp the position of king. Number 8. Commemorating himself while in the guise of Odin to make the Asgardians like him. Fans of Loki love his wacky logic that sees him do ridiculous things. After taking on the guise of Odin, he went further by having statues of himself commissioned and placed around Asgard to make it appear as if Odin was commemorating Loki. Loki also had the play known as The Tragedy of Loki of Asgard authorized to feed his ego, however this ended up working well since the Asgardians began to see Loki as a tragic figure and outright ignored Thor's arrival in favor of watching the play. Number 7. Influencing Eric Selvig to steer S.H.I.E.L.D.'s plans if one were to ask Loki himself, he would definitely claim to be better than Thor due to his use of skills and strategy. Loki used his knack for duplicity at the end of Thor where he influenced Eric Selvig to agree to harness the power of the Tesseract. This was his way of ensuring that Selvig continued to test on the Tesseract until Loki could be summoned, which came to pass in the Avengers where he arrived to completely destroy the base and make off with the cube. Number 6. Baiting Thanos until the Hulk attacked him Although some argue that his attack on Thanos made no sense, Loki was actually successful in the plan he had for the Titan. His tactic was to make Thanos believe him that he was on his side, bait him into the appeal of the Tesseract, and then stick the Hulk on him. This worked to perfection, as the Hulk did launch a surprise attack on Thanos. Number 5. Stabbing Thor as a child by making him believe he was a snake With the fearless Thor looking to admire the snake, Loki revealed himself to have been the snake all along and stabbed his elder brother. While this was played off as a joke, the fact that he was so duplicitous at the age of 8 really confirmed his title as the God of Mischief. Number 4, making the people in Stuttgart kneel to him. While it might seem needless for Loki to stage such a big display of power in Stuttgart, his true fans understand how this pride works. Loki took control of a public location in order to command the people there and forced them to kneel to him. His overall intention was to get captured there, but this was also a mischievous way of Loki looking to assert dominance as he made a show out of the people submitting to his power. Number 3, unleashing the Hulk on S.H.I.E.L.D. and causing infighting between the Avengers. It appeared as if Iron Man had beaten Loki into submission in the Avengers, only for this to be revealed as Loki's plan. He wanted to get to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s base in order to instigate a fight between the Avengers over what to do with him while having the mind-controlled Hawkeye destroy the Helicarrier from the outside. This caused Bruce Banner to turn into the Hulk while the Avengers had been consumed by their infighting. Number 2, every time he cast multiple illusions of himself. Depending on who it favored, this is Loki's best and worst trait. He mastered the spell of creating illusions of himself to the point where he feigned his demise by causing his copy to die and making off in actuality. He used it in battles as well, as Loki brought multiple copies of himself during his battle with Thor on the Bifrost Bridge to addle his brother as he didn't know which Loki was genuine. Loki managed to stir things up even more each time he cast his illusions, which Thor eventually realized was his go-to move. Number 1. Using the Battle of New York 2 as a way to make his public victory Nobody can mix malevolence with mischievousness the way Loki can, with the Battle of New York all a way for him to show how he'd beaten Earth's Mightiest Heroes, in a way this was all a giant prank that got severely out of hand. The Battle of New York saw the world at the mercy of Loki, with only the sudden arrival of the Avengers causing Loki's plans to go awry. Had it not been for them, Loki would have become the ruler of Earth, and the entire battle would have been his coronation of sorts. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. So long.